And so I think that's a great way to parlay from not only, you know, the rock scene and the relationship to wrestling, but how did you get involved? And I know, but again, explain to the people, oh, it's almost through the music scene that you blend and bleed into the wrestling scene, not only in the the morals and the values of that kind of brotherhood and that underground world of live entertainment. How How does that world of metal and backyard underground music shows take you to the world of professional professional wrestling excuse me where you're sitting here now sitting up in a, in a rock and roll mask and you've got your your stuff your drug bastard stuff almost directly bleeding into who you are in the ring well i mean same thing like I grew up like like everybody else. Grew up watching wrestling, you know. Was it just channel flipping? Or channel flipping, a yeah, okay. yeah. I was. I grew up throughout the whole Monday, like Monday Night War thing, you know. So, okay. so do I, you remember anything specific that, like, okay, this is I'm in? You know what I mean? Oh, I watched the night I saw Goldberg job out so and so or Stone Cold. Well, I mean, the thing was for me, I, like, I just knew names, you know. I was just like flipping through, and I was just see them like getting fucked up. Who are I, the names? Goldberg, uh, Jericho, Rey Mysterio. Um, Triple H, okay. you know, Undertaker, The Rock. So real quick, WCW or WWF? Because when you're talking about the Ooh. name, a lot of the names you just listed, the first three or the first handful of them were WCW. WCW, guys, you yep. know what I mean? So, and I honestly, I was born in 95 and I didn't get into wrestling until almost a decade later. But the, the Monday Night War is something that obviously I've done tons of research on and homework and I've watched all that, the, you know, that era of television uh, in wrestling. But living it and breathing it and understanding it live is completely different. When I look back on it in hindsight, I've always kind of been a, I'll say, anti-establishment. That's why I'm into independent wrestling. That's why I've been drawn into kind of some of this underground music scene. Uh, I've always been like anti-mainstream. So as soon as I kind of got into wrestling and the WWE, as almost as quick as I was into it, I was looking for alternatives. I was getting into TNA and I was getting into the independents and I was always... I always classified myself as someone that preferred WCW. And maybe it was just kind of a goofy mark thing that when during the invasion I wanted WCW to win because yeah, yeah. whatever. And maybe that was just a predisposition I had. But I always, and I'll maintain it, even when I go back and watch some old WCW television during that era, they were at many periods during that time a superior product. From production I, I, I and I believe so. and talent and like, sure it was mismanaged and you know we can go on about logistics all day from an armchair quarterback perspective. But when you talk about again, they just kind of pop. You know, I noticed that that those names that you mentioned were a lot of WCW guys. So were you kind of drawn into one more so than the other, or was it just wrestling's cool and this is the kind of badass to, to watch? To me, to me, like there was some stories that they, they catch my attention, but like, like I said, I was just always channel flipping. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, what commercials go to the other one? Yep, okay. watch. Go the other one was more interesting. Go flip to the other one. Okay, so at that point, that's kind of I'll say the wrestling phase for most kids. Yeah, right? yeah. Like nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, kind of fifteen, sixteen. Suck it. You Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Kind of deal. So how does that take you, or what did do you kind of get out of wrestling? Does the phase kind of come to an end? No, it, 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 it never really did. It just kind of stayed stayed dormant for a little bit. Uh, Would you keep up with it, or was it oh, just kind of like, like you always considered yourself a fan, and you can't really change that, but you don't watch Raw every Monday? Yeah, like, like I could. I mean, you yeah, start getting into girls, and you start having real friends. The, and you start now the thing is, like, it's just the area I grew up to. It was just like so heavily gang involved, you know. It's like they're not watching wrestling. Yeah, yeah you, <laughs> you know, know what I mean. mean? They're it, not. You ain't gonna talk to them about what happened. Exactly, on, on SmackDown. and and you know, like I was somewhat of a nerd, if you would say, but not really. I tried to be cool. So of course, I, mean, I, I did get bullied for once in a while. Yeah, it wasn't until I started fighting back. And what know? was I mean, like without going into too much traumatic detail about that, were you were you just getting bullied because you like Dragon Ball Z or like, uh, you like anime I was or? just a fucking nerdy little kid with glasses. Um, okay, so did yeah, you get, scrawny. You did know, you get like, some contact lenses or something. No, or? never. And so you I, started kicking ass instead. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and, and I mean, it's either it's either get bullied or get fucking start whooping some ass. You know what I mean? Hey, I'll, I'll drink to that. <laughs> you know, I just fuck. Yeah, no, I feel that hundred percent, and that is, you know, there's there's ways to paraphrase what you just said, and there's there's some true value in that. And it, you know, again, bullying that, that shit's so not right, and it's not cool. But hey, you started standing up for yourself, and you start standing up for yourself despite you know kind of being scrawny or kind of being undersized or having glasses. And you turn that into uh, maybe that helps you direct you into the music scene, and you get involved in that. And how does how does this dormant phase of wrestling kind of how does the spark get reignited here? Because again, you talk about it sounds like at the period you kind of start 
getting out of wrestling or by the time that phase starts to go a little bit dormant, as you said, that you start kind of filling that void. I, I can't speak for you, but it sounds like that you start doing the shows more and you start getting more involved in that. And so you start getting involved in that. And it's how, how long between you kind of getting, I'll say, out of wrestling, for lack of a better term, and you stepping into training for the first time. Like, how does this come about? How I many think years? It was like, back, back in around 2006, 2007, I was like... Trying to see what, like, I was like, you know what, like, I've always liked wrestling. I was, I was like, I remember watching on TV and I was like, oh shit, like, this, it changed a lot. Who are these guys, new guys? And, and like, who were the new guys? Do you remember? Uh, I Benoit remember. Or... It was, like, who was in there that, like, it was, Seamus was in there that I was like, I didn't recognize who he was. I was okay. like, who is this guy? Yeah. Who else was in there? I just, it was like a bunch of these guys. Yeah. Cesaro was that almost, there. That must have been like oh, closer towards 2009 or 2010, honestly. Yeah, but before, it was like, before that, like, like I just, these guys started coming in a little bit later, but like it's just, I just it was on and off. You were starting to see a little bit of a change. Yeah, in the product, like right? yeah, like okay. it was like oh seven, oh six when I started like kind of rewatching it again. And did you start to notice that there were like when you see changes? Does what does that mean? You see smaller guys, or you see like does, is there something uh, that, that tells you that hey, I can do this again? Or just no, like, it was just like everything was just uh, different. That like the, the storylines weren't like as like so adult based or edgy, yeah. like you know whatever. What yep. I mean, it was more kid based. It's well documented. They went through a huge, you know, content and the product change when when there was you know politics involved and when they went public on you know the publicly traded stock market. So there were you know a lot of changes, and you're not the only one that's seen that. Even they've come out and publicly on record said that yeah, of course they made tons of changes to the product from the you know the stars that they were presenting yeah, yeah. to the, you know the content on television. So you kind of start what getting reinterested or reacquainted by that, or yeah, kind or of, are you always still just kind of flipping I, channels. I, no, you know I, mean, I mean like, like I, I I like I started getting interested in the league, and I was like you know what like I'm gonna. I don't know how I started, but I just started like binge watching one day. Okay. <laughs> I went to this website. I found this wrestling website, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start rewatching from like, I think it was like 2009, 2010, all the way to like to now, like what it was back like two, three years ago. Yeah. And like I watched every like, every, and it was I'm, a different <laughs> time. It was a different time at that. You know, we're not supporting any any piracy or torrent, but like I mean, like at the, <laughs> at the time, like there was just so many pages where like, oh, yeah, well, of course. Like, it wasn't even piracy. It was just like, oh, this is I like mean, that, it's a click, hyperlink. Click, you know what I mean? Like, the link, you know, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, but again, things have changed, and obviously, you know, you're you're in small business. You you know the value of selling a T-shirt or for yeah, selling, yeah, of selling a match or selling a DVD. So, um, but again, like that that is how a lot of people just like, oh well, I found a YouTube or there was tape trading or again, like there for Japanese wrestling, that shit was impossible to get your hands on without I won't say illegally downloading and it because like it just, wasn't under that, how you said that, that context. You know how what I mean? you, well, you just mentioned that, like just flipping through like those links. That's how I started seeing like training. Okay. And I was like, okay, like, I got to find a school. What kind of training? What do you mean? Like, like wrestling training. Like, and what do you remember? Like, uh, I was, uh, I remember watching some of those Santino brother videos. Okay. And I was like, okay. How to do a headlock. And they, yeah, they, they, their page is very, I won't say, it, you know, it's not an expose because res, everyone's self-aware of what wrestling yeah, yeah. is now. We all know it's entertainment. We know there's a basis or an aspect of, of showmanship to, to wrestling. So their page, again, has, has not shied away. They're a training school. And in promoting their training school, they promote, you know, their, their students' progression. And there's been a lot of, I don't say controversy about that, but people, oh, don't post training videos and no, 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 I'm just behind the curtain or whatever. Yeah, but I mean... Know, just but, because of that, it sparked my interest. And that's what I'm saying. I think nowadays, in the modern era of professional wrestling, that's a lot of the, not only how they're going to attract business, but that's how a lot of these young kids, in the, again attracting them business, they're they're getting wrestling training and they're kind of keeping the wheel turning and keeping things moving for the next generation to come in and and be properly trained and to to get out, you know get out there and do it. So. Um, well, that's awesome. So you you find that, and you what? So you think I got I got to get to do this? This yeah. looks local enough, or what? Are you seeing guys okay. like your size, or like what? What makes you like? You obviously know. That well, these I mean, guys like, are I, 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 I'm seeing the training. I'm like, yeah, I could do this. If I mean, they could do this. I could do this. You know, like because it looked easy. Yeah, like, I thought. Well, from what it to me, it looked easy, but obviously, once I stepped in the ring, it was not easy. And it, yeah, it, it, and, <laughs> and it wasn't like a. Well, I'm trying to scratch my head, and make you go oh, what? You, but it, but it looked. I, it, it, not, it looked easy. That's it, not to discredit any of the videos because I know that I I know that their guys are top notch. I know that it's quality. I know that it's class. Training. It looked easy to me, you know, and I thought I could do it too. And obviously, boy, was I wrong once I stepped in there, you know. <laughs> so, so, okay, so so you you okay? Well, that's just an idea. The seeds planted. How the hell do you go from watching a video on YouTube in your basement? You know what I mean? To did you call some? Did you call Santino Brothers? Did you call uh, someone? Or? I I I, look, I was looking for schools. Did you Google. Uh, yeah, Google. Okay. Um, ended up finding Jeff's school. Okay. So SoCal, SoCal Pro Wrestling. So yeah, SoCal yep. Pro Wrestling. I, I went through their website. and um, Which was 
archaic at the fucking time. Yeah, you know so what I mean? it, was, the, the website pretty much just looked like a dead, dead page. And you're not going to get, yeah, of course, you're not going to get any info, except for the one thing on that page that was, was, that, that, was the phone, phone number. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, exactly. I'm glad we said the same thing at the same so, time, because uh, so, that's okay, the so only, yeah. I'm like, all right, well, call that number. I, call, I don't know how many times I called that number. Nobody answered. No, nobody shit. You're putting them on blast. Nobody <laughs> ever answered to me. I was like, oh my god. Ever? So you never got all? You never got a, it, an answer on that? Yeah. Call. So that was back in like I think 2008 or 2000.